You know what that means. It means spring's right around the corner. And I'm not ready. Finishing um, exporting a video um, lost footage of uh, Lexi when she was a calf. Um, by the time this goes live, that'll already be live, but it's so cute. Hopefully Axel and Annabelle, um, hopefully Annabelle's bred. We have yet to do the uh, blood test. I gotta send those out. That's on my list of things that I need to do is I need to get Annabelle tested. Lexi and Axel accidentally got in the same pen once and I don't think she's bred because she sometimes acts like she's in heat but I just for safety because she's only nine months old close to being 10 months old and you don't want to breed a heifer until they are 15 months old because the goal is you want them to calve at their two-year birthday and if she got bred at eight, eight or nine months that poses a risk to not only the baby the, the, the calf but also to her as well and um, yeah we don't want that but on top of that we also have um, our goats mocha brownie and maple and we have a fourth new addition and he'll be getting introduced today here shortly we are going to be going and getting one of my helpers Cameron uh, followed by my other helper Livy and we're going to be going out to the pasture um, 4-H livestock show is right around the corner, so they're going to be working with Mocha because Livy is showing Mocha in the livestock show. And then Leon is showing a uh, one of our silky hens as well as a rabbit that Cameron is letting him show, which is really, really sweet of her. So we are bringing the rabbit out to the farm and um, they're going to be working with them. Another thing I'm also going to be working on today is uh, the garden. Yeah, I have not, um, it's just been sitting there with the chickens, which I mean, it's great because the chickens are working on it, the goats are working on it, they're fertilizing, they're tailing, it's all good, but I need to get it tarped so I can start gardening. I'm really excited to do that. So that's another thing we're doing today, among probably other things. <laughs> hey, luck <laughs> me out. Thing one. Hi, <laughs> thing two. It's a Scooby-Doo. Are you ready? Yes. Guess, we're, guess what we're going to pick up next? <laughs> a bunny. Yeah. Leon. And I'm thing one. I got in the car first. Your thing. Your bonus thing three. Oh, I've never seen the red eyeballs. He's so pretty. So I'm on my shorts, not my skin. Got your bunny. So we're out at the pasture. You guys want to check for chickies? Okay, I'm sure you'll be able to hear something in here. I don't hear any chicks. Not yet. That one's peeping up. We got some pips. All right. No babies yet. Poop, I wanted to see some babies. <laughs> Eggs just stranded soon. They are so, like, the eggs are so little. Oh, I know, they're little fairy eggs. I've never seen a baby chicken hatch. I think that'd be really cool to That's see. That's cool. All right. So you guys get to meet the new addition. This is Saffron. He is our new little billy goat. Hi, buddy. He is a Nigerian dwarf. What are you doing? <laughs> but he is like blonde color. In, ho in horse terms, he would be a palomino, but I'm not entirely sure what the coloring is for goats. I gotta do some research on that. But he will be our daddy goat. And Mocha is of age to be bred, so we've got them all together. And I figured, you know what? She looks a little chunkier than usual. Who? Brownie? Oh, Brownie's just fat. <laughs> we figured it would be smart for Mocha's first uh, batch of babies, batch of kids, to uh, be small to make it easier on her. Um, I don't know if these two have ever kitted, kid, kitted. You kidding me? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> but um, we will see. We are going to move the chicken tractor over here and from. 
this post over is gonna be the new garden area and I gotta try and tarp that. Did I turn it off? I, I thought I turned it off. Oh. <laughs> she didn't want to touch it so we both did. Oh my god. So right now we've got the goats, the ducks, and the chickens set up in the garden pen um, in the electric poultry net with the chicken tractor. And uh, what we're going to be eventually doing is the goats are going to be getting moved into this new goat pen that I've um, put together recently, which is field fence and electric wire. First thing that I'm going to do that I want to get done today is to get um, this all mowed. As you can see, the uh, orchard is kind of extremely overgrown. So we're going to get that mowed down because we're going to start working on getting this manicured and cleaned up and mulched properly here soon but I want to start using this garden, so that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna get the uh, grass mowed down first, then move that fence, and then, uh, yeah, get this place cleaned up. So let's cue that time lapse. poultry net moved over. There's grass in there now so the goats can have additional forage outside of their hay. And I opened up the new garden. So I decided, because you can really see where the uh, chicken tractor was, they were on there much longer than I had wanted them to. But um, we got them moved over to fresh mulch now. The goats are on grass weeks, we will be ready to start our spring garden. 